I thank God here in the middle of the Vatican of the fundamentalist Christians in America, you're here, you're queer, and you're out and in the park this morning, amen. Why did you choose to come to Colorado Springs out of all places um, for this celebration? I thought it was very, very important. There are two things that are happening today. One is the 25th anniversary of our church here. And so it was great joy when uh, Nori Ross, our pastor, invited me to come here to be here for that. The second thing was that Nori told me that the Gay Pride Committee here wanted me to be one of the co-grand marshals of the parade. I turned down New York City and uh, one other place to be here this year because I thought it was important. This has been a state that has fought very hard, has stood up to such discrimination, had the courts overthrow Amendment 2, and yet y'all have continued to have a wonderful, wonderful gay, lesbian, bi, and transgendered presence in this state. It's really a shame uh, that this city, which has the largest number of fundamentalist organizations, of any city in America, has one of the lowest rates of people who attend church. I guess it's because people, only 37% of this city say they go to church. And that says to me they've seen up close what fundamentalism looks like, and it's not always attractive. It was really funny in San Francisco at Gay Pride, I got up, 25,000 people out in front of me to hear me speak. And I said, everybody expects me to say something religious, so here it is. Anybody in this group who votes for George W. Bush is gonna die and go to hell. Well, they jumped up and down and screamed. I'm the eternal optimist. Um, my partner and I have been together for 19 years. Last year when Canada announced they would marry gay couples, he and I flew right up and we're married legally. We have just sued the state of California and um, it's gone to court and we're waiting to see what will transpire and happen um, there. The greatest thing you can do is come out of the closet. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your job is. So more and more in our people, I thank God, are coming out. More and more people are speaking up. And I say to those people, don't worry, we have hope. Uh, we ho have, hold the hope. We're the most optimistic people on earth. Today we have openly gay Episcopal bishops. We have gay folks who are open in all kinds of denominations. It continues to be good and blessed. And so I say to those folks, continue the good fight. We will win. You can live about 40 days without food, about five days without water, 15 minutes without air, but you can't live one second without hope.